Okay, hey, Tony. Look here. Um, we spend a lot of time on gear cases. I race boats, okay? You're in my race shop. Uh, this is actually our gear case and engine room. Um, let me show you a little something. Tony, if you back up just a second. This is the lower unit, and you've seen this before. I got this on another video somewhere, but I need to. This is a 150 horsepower lower unit. It takes exhaust right through here, and it comes out the propeller. I wanted, there's going to be some videos on here I'm going to reference. I want you to take a look at it. An outboard motor is the last uh, motor, motorized transportation that is allowed to have unmuffled, untreated exhaust. No catalytic converter, nothing like that. Unmuffled, untreated exhaust dumped directly into the environment. It's been doing that since 1957. Um, unfortunately, our ears don't hear very good underwater, so it, we think the sound just goes away, but it doesn't. It carries for miles, sometimes hundreds of miles. But if one of the problems with the Dago Modern Outboard, you see, guys, when outboards went, you know, 45 or 50 miles an hour maximum, or actually even slower than that, this big old, the transmission right here, and the width of that gear case and all, that was okay. This, see, this is a 150 horsepower lower unit. Guys, let me show you something. Y'all want to see a 150 horsepower lower unit in a, for a race boat? You ready? Okay. There. That's 150 horsepower. Okay. This is called a surface piercing lower unit. Now, one of the great myths that uh, has been propagated is that you have to have a big, slow-turning propeller to drive a big boat. I'm afraid not. <laughs> no. That's just not so because, uh, oh, and by the way, this is some of my favorite stuff. This is an alcohol-burning racing engine, but that's another story. Uh, that's another video. The bottom line is this. I want to talk about lower units. I'm also, the, one of the next videos you see after this is going to be a giant boat, a big skater, and it's got to have a set of surface piercing drives on it. And what you're going to hear on that thing is you're going to hear first the drives will be buried underneath the water, the boat will accelerate and come up on a plane, and then you'll hear the drives change gears. The boat will literally change gears. The propellers will be spinning faster and the drives will trim, trim, trim until they come to the top of the water. You'll hear four transmission, four speeds, and it's a planetary transmission. And the cool thing is, this boat weighs tons. It's very, very heavy, but it's unbelievably fast. Now, what we've learned how to do, this is what the Glen Outboard Motor is all about. We can do that with an outboard motor. And we're going to talk about that a little later. Check out the videos, and the next time I come to you, we're going to talk a little more about what else we're doing.